Hey guys, it's Zach and welcome back to the shop, or should I say RV? I feel like I'm doing a lot of these videos. <laughs> um, so I figured out how to get my chassis battery to charge properly as well as using the auxiliary start for the 99 Fleetwood banner. So if you want to see how I do it, then stick around. <laughs> All right, so as you guys probably know on these Fleetland Bounders, there's a auxiliary start button here to the left of the steering wheel. Um, and if it doesn't click when you push it, so if, you, if you're if you currently sitting here and you're not connected to shore power and you hit the button, you should actually hear a click, an audible click, an audible click, click, click. <laughs> which turns on a solenoid underneath the dash. Um, and if that doesn't click for any reason, then there's a good chance that that solenoid is bad. And in my case, when you push it over, it, I did not hear that click. So my next step was to uh, go underneath the hood of this thing um, and check out the BCC or battery control center. And let's go check that out now so I can kind of show you what's going on behind the scenes. Okay, so this is your battery control module. Um, it is responsible for quite uh, a few things. One is to uh, charge your chassis battery, charge your house battery. Um, it does a lot of regulation, but um, uh, between the two so like if your uh, uh, house battery is close to fully charged it will actually click over and allow the uh, the chassis battery to run um, it also uh, connects to your generator and allows um, uh, to get full voltage from your uh, or full power rather from your your house battery to start it it does a lot of other things and there's also some fuses in here for some uh, various things like LP detectors, auxiliary starts, radio switches, stuff like that. So sometimes um, you can check in here for fuses in case there's a, an odd one that you you don't see in any of the other two um, fuse boxes that are in this thing. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Um, behind this thing, and I'm not going to take it out right now, but behind this thing, there's actually two uh, giant relays. Um, one's for your main cutoff. If you hit that switch um, in the when you first walk up uh, into your coach, there's two switches on the top right. You can turn off your uh, the main uh, relay for your chassis battery and your main relay for your house battery. That's what those two do. And then right here in the corner, of course, you're not going to be able to see. Let me get a little lower. Right here in the corner is your solenoid. And this is the guy that went bad for me. Um, I'll show you how to uh, verify that this is working once you remove it. All right, so here we are back in the RV and this is a brand new solenoid. And I wanna show you how I tested the other one. Uh, these things are only about 30 bucks. So if you just wanna replace it, you could do that. I happened to fix the one I had just because I don't know, I like a good challenge, I guess. Who knows? Um, but let me show you how I tested it so that um, we know that the one that you have works before you go and spend the money. So what I use is just a, a nine volt battery. And if you touch these two, you hear that click? That click is uh, moving a spring uh, assembly in there with a rod in the middle and it it basically uh, uses magnetics to pull it down. And when it pulls it down, these two prongs should get continuity. So to test continuity, we can use a voltmeter. All right, so we have continuity. So if we put these on these two prongs and we take a nine volt battery, we should hear it beep, right? Right, so we know that this solenoid 
works, which is probably a good thing because it's brand new. So that's how I tested the other one. And since I got, uh, since I was waiting for this one to come in the mail, I decided to, uh, I ground, I used a grinder and ground off this edge here and was able to pull this off. And I fixed everything on the inside, put it back together and uh, put it back in the, the RV. And you know, just for fun, I'll hold on to this one just in case that one decides to go bad. But I'll leave a link down below to this one in case you want to replace it with one just like it. Okay, awesome. Did you hear that click? That click uh, is the solenoid clicking over to allow us to use the, the auxiliary battery to start this thing. So let's just, uh, just for giggles, let's give it a shot and make sure we can start this thing. Over the truth. All right, sweet. Uh, so my battery, my main chassis battery is completely dead. So this is pretty nice that I was able to start from the home battery. Now let's say you're all you're running and everything. Um, you let it run for a little while, warm it up, and when you go to turn it off, you'll actually after a few seconds you'll hear that click again, and that's actually disengaging that solenoid. Let's try it now. Did you hear it? All right, so this currently is, is turned off or disengaged. Now, the last thing we want to do to test this is connect it to shore power and make sure we hear this click over, which allows, when that clicks over and it's connected to shore power, it's charging the main chassis battery. So let's go run over there real quick and, and try to test it. Uh-huh. Did you hear it? Woo, it's working. Woo, it's getting cold out there. So, all right guys, so hopefully that helps you. I, you know, I am no professional when it comes to electricity and that kind of stuff. So uh, just be safe, make sure you unplug everything, disconnect the batteries before you kind of mess around with that board and stuff. And of course, disconnect from shore power. Um, but I am super excited that this is working, actually. This was one of those things when I first picked up the RV. Uh, it was connected to a trickle charger, which I'm sure a lot of you guys also use a trickle charger to make sure that battery is charged. So at this point, I shouldn't have to worry about trickle charger. It now charges both batteries, or all three, depending on how your setup is. And yeah, this is great. <laughs> and I'm a little winded for running. That's pretty terrible, isn't it? Anyways, thanks for watching, folks. I hope it helped somebody. I really appreciate you watching. Uh, Diesel says you should probably subscribe, and I will see you next time.